Okay, you guys, for those watching this on replay, we just listened to an Ashley Mayfield podcast. Um, Super good. I literally love listening to her stuff. But today for my tip of the day, it's less a tip and more um, something that I actually learned from the call this morning on her podcast. So she had mentioned something that I didn't even think about that I think especially us moms on this team need to be better about is involving our kids. And so often I will tell Oakland like, hang on, just give me a minute. Like I'm finishing this up or whatever. And it's really not a minute. It's like 10 minutes. (laughs) And it's something that she could help me with. For example, like if I'm sending thank you notes or if I'm doing my charts or if I'm making new signs or new sticky notes for all of my goals, like having her help me and put it up or whatever. And I just never really thought about just because she's still so young, involving her in like what I'm doing. But at the end of the day, like your kids are going to see not only the fact that you are (coughs) working hard, but they also get to be a part of that process and it's really fun for them. Like I am sure that Oakland would love to do that kind of stuff with me. So that's definitely on my list to do today. So I want to encourage you guys to involve your kids too. like make new sticky notes with your goals or make new affirmations for yourself and have your kids either like help you decorate them or just like I said, help you pin them up or whatever. And it's cool because as you continue in this business and when you do take quitting off the table and you're here for the long run, like this is going to be a part of your like life. You know what I mean? And we make this a lifestyle. So our kids are going to be a huge, huge part of that. And they're going to see like, especially as Oakland gets older, like I just think about as I continue to go up in the company, as we continue to go up in the company, her watching that process and watching me work hard and all of the things. And I love Jamie put in the chat, yeah, Ruby journals with me, which is so cute. And I love to like listening to self-development when Oakland is in the room. Like I always have podcasts playing if we're like outside doing her pool. And even when we have one-on-one time, my phone is away and up, but like I can hear it. So I just have the volume all the way up and I have an audio book going or a podcast and her and I are playing or building something or whatever. Um, And she listens to that too. And I think that we so often, like, I don't know, I've been trying to be better about when Oakland gets up in the morning, one of the first things that she wants to do is to watch a show. And for a while I would just like turn it on because I don't know, you guys, I'm not that weird about screen time, but I do limit her. Like she only gets two movies a day kind of a thing. But Point being, I started to realize that I get up at between 5 and 6 a.m. and I control my first hour of my morning. That means not looking at my phone, not diving into social media, not playing a game, like literally nothing except for me, myself, I, my thoughts, I'm stretching, I'm doing my journaling, all the things. So why would I expect her to do anything else? How can I expect her to have a good attitude for the day? when she immediately sat down and started watching a show, which completely threw off like whatever she was thinking or doing or whatever. And I've noticed that her um, behavior is definitely different throughout the day when we do that and when we don't. When she immediately watches a show in the morning, because Connor's like way more lax about it than I am. So sometimes like he'll turn on a show for her, which is totally fine, like obviously. Um, But she is way naughtier throughout the day and doesn't want to go down for a nap and just wants to watch more TV or whatever. And if she starts her day properly with me, she wants to play outside. She wants to go on a walk. She wants to explore. She's doing all the things. And I don't know. I just find that when we do it together, it's so much more fun. So involve your kids. And then the other thing that I wanted to let you guys know of and just be a constant reminder is I have a multitude of groups. I've been really bad about my healthy habits group. So if you guys are in that one, I'm so sorry. Y'all, it's been a weird couple weeks. My dog is sick. There's no excuse. Okay. But 
I have a couple different groups. So I have a motivational group um, where I'll send like journal prompts or like a quote or just something in the morning and like maybe a podcast throughout the day, maybe something at night, whatever. But I'm reaching out like at least once a day and I'm just saying, hey, you can do this, you know, kind of a thing. I also am here to hold you guys accountable because I am your leader. And part of my job is to make sure that you guys are showing up the way that you say you're going to show up. So if you say you want diamond, I'm going to hold you to that. If you say you want Ruby, I'm going to hold you to that. So if you need someone to be a bug in your ear, checking in with you every couple days, Hey, how's your six list going? Hey, are you making sure that you're doing this or whatever? Or, Hey, how have you fallen off track this week and how can I help you get back or whatever it is? I'm totally, totally here to be that person for you, but I don't know if you need it if you don't ask me. So if you don't have my number, get it. Um, (laughs) There's a million people on here who can give it to you. Um, Your enroller will have it and be able to give it to you. Every single one of you guys is on my downline and should be totally utilizing this if it's something that you need. So I just wanted again to remind you guys of that. And then don't forget we have um, our team call tonight at eight o'clock right before it at six is show me the money. So make sure that you're hopping on those. And I think that's it. So I'll give you guys your new homework for leaders eat last and everything um, tonight as well, but make sure that you guys are caught up and come prepared with at least one thing to share that either hit home for you or something that you learned or whatever it is. So I love you guys and have a good day.